from the first law of thermodynamic we can get du equals to delta w plus delta q which means in a closed system the change of internal energy includes the work done on the system and the heat added to the system as for the work done part delta w equals to minus p dv from this equation we can get du equals to minus p dv plus delta q and for adiabatic process delta q equals to zero which means this is there's no heat added to the system we can get du equals to minus p d v from the definition of enthalpy we can get h equals to u plus p v and do a mass calculation dh equals to du plus p dv plus v dp and we from from this equation and this equation we can get dh equals to minus p dv plus p dv plus v d p which equals to v d p and for an isentropic process we can get d u equals to n c v d t dh equals to n times cp times dt cv and cp means the um, heat specific heat constant for constant volume and constant pressure so from those from those two equation and uh, the equation we have derived above we can this one and uh, this one we can get dh equals to n times cp times dt equals to v dp dv equals to n times cv times dt equals to minus p dv Okay. For an ideal gas, the heat capacity ratio, the definition of it, is CP divided by CV. From the results, we can get which equals to minus v d p divided by p d v and we we can rewrite it into minus d p divided by p n divided by d v divided by v so from the equation we can get one divided by p d p plus a uh, times y gamma sorry gamma divided by v dv equals to error from now on we'll do some um, simple math okay. integral one divided by p dp plus integral gamma divided by v dv equals to integral of constant zero so ln p plus gamma 
ln v equals to ln c constant. So we can get p times v gamma prime equals to constant. So that's the whole process. Okay, thank you.